Revelations by Matthew Arnold. Before man parted for this earthly strand, while yet upon the verge of heaven, he stood. God put a heap of letters in his hand and bade him make with them what word he could. God gave man his word. He intended for man to spread this word throughout the world. This word given by God could possibly be a reference to the Ten Commandments. And man has turned them many times, made Greece, Rome, England, France, yes, nor in vain essayed, way after way, changes that never cease. The letters have combined, something was made. The letters that were given to man by God were utilized to make extraordinary things that showed the true power of man. When man came together, they formed something great and made God proud. But ah, an, extingu an extinguishable sense haunts him, that he has not made what he should, that he has still, though old, to recommence, since he has not yet found the word God would. Man has lost his way and is now harming God's creation. In the opinion of Arnold, man still has a want to serve God and should rediscover the word of God. And empire after empire, at their height of sway, have felt this boding sense come on, have felt their huge frames not constructed right, and drooped and slowly died upon their throne. Once an old empire, once an empire is built up quickly and reaches its maximum potential, it comes crashing down quickly. The cities were built up quickly, became overpopulated, rapidly making the city a bad place to live. One day thou shast there will at last appear the word, the order which God meant should be. Ah, we shall know that well when it comes near. The ban will quit man's heart, he will breathe free. In this stanza, Arnold is talking about Judgment Day. He states that the word of God will be reinforced on man, and some will be set free and go to heaven, while others who do not practice the word of God will go to hell. He was born in Lollyham, England on December 24th, 1822, and died in Liverpool, England on April 15th, 1888. In 1857, he became the professor of poetry at Oxford, where he wrote most of his famous works. The Victorian era was a period of Queen Victorian's rule, from 1837 to 1901. It was known as a period of peace, prosperity, and national self-confidence for Britain. The arts moved to romanticism, a valuing and longing to return to nature and the way society used to be. The theme of romanticism is apparent in our poem being that Matthew Arnold often references how society was and then states his longing to get back to that society. Created using Powtoon.